Hi ladies, I am here to do my update for my uh, T25. I am happy to say that I finished week five. Yay! When I first got this on the first day that I um, started this, I was like, there's no way I'm probably going to see through to this thing for no 10 weeks. And I started this on March 3rd. Um, and yeah, um, I was just like, I don't know about this. This may be one of those things where I probably wasted my money. <laughs> but I have not wasted my money. I stuck with it. I didn't give up. And I just finished my week five. Now, week five, it was a little tough for me this week. And it wasn't because so much of the workout, because my body has really um amped it up and and have you know is really taken well to the workout um but um let's just go back to why it was a tough week excuse me um it was a tough week just because I was just tired you know just feeling tired Monday was a really um Monday afternoon I do my workouts in the evenings um, about 6, 6.30. Oh, excuse me, my nose itch. But um, I do it about 6, 6.30 in the evenings. And so I've just gotten used to doing it, you know, in the evenings. Um, some of y'all may or may not know, um, I really don't sleep well at night. When I go to sleep, it's probably between 2 and 3 o'clock in the morning. And then I have to get up at 7.30 with my son and get him ready for school and then take him to school. And then I'm up pretty much from there. But kind of just like if I have errands to run, I do that or whatever, you know, around the house. But for the most part, I'm just really like relaxing and laying around because I really didn't get much sleep. So um, I really don't do any exercising or anything during the day. By the afternoon, you know, my kids come home, you know, I'm helping with homework. So I'm more up and revived, you know, because I have to get up and get going with my kids coming in and my son in track now and having to go back and forth and get him and cook dinner, you know, so I'm I'm up and going. So that's the best time to do it. But on Mondays, it's really tough. And especially this Monday, because we just started back with our Monday night Bible studies with a group um, of people that go to the church I'm in, we have um, Monday night Bible studies of reading through um, certain parts of the Bible as like a story. So you can bet. And then we talk about it so you can better understand. And it's really helpful. But just wanted to say that. So Monday nights, um, it starts at 630 and I do my workouts about 6, 630. So that means I have to do my workout before I go and then I have to cook my kids fix my kids dinner cook their dinner before I do my workout so it's a little bit of a rush with me trying to fix my kids dinner get through my workout so I can shower and get to my bible study you know because they live about 20 minutes away from me 15 20 minutes away from me so I could get there. So needless to say, this past Monday, I was not on time. Um, I was still sweating like a pig even after I took my shower because my body was still cooling off. I was tired. It's all get out. You know, it's just been a tiring week. Um, but this week, week five, I guess because you're going into the beta phase, which is the strength phase. Uh, the last two weeks, they try to put more on the more strengthening workouts like total body circuit, lower focus, um, abs and stuff like that. So week five, I did three days of total body circuit. It was total body circuit on Monday, Wednesday, and then on Friday, you know, you have to double up on the videos and you have to do them right after one another. 
not one in the morning and one at night or in the afternoon. It's recommended that you do them back to back to get the most benefit from, you know, your maximum results from the workout. And so Friday's workout was total body circuit and then lower focus. Now, um, I got through the low total body circuit on Friday pretty good because I already did it on Monday and, and Wednesday. But when we got to the lower focus, my knees was just worn out. And mostly because I keep forgetting to bring my mat upstairs. So with total body circuit um, and abs, um, his exercises to work your abs, as I talked about it before, but also to work your arms and shoulders and chest or whatever is planks. He is serious when it comes to those planks. I mean, he have you um, doing a plank and push-ups. He have you doing these exercises where you in a plank. And most of his planks are arms stretched out. So your arms are stretched out, you know, like this. And then he'll have you do a push-up and then do like an ab exercise. Like bring your, he call it the um, Spider-Man where you have to bring your leg, your foot up um, to this on the side, like you know, like say this is my, say you know this is my feet, and say this is my arm, and this is my feet back here. Here, have you bring your foot up, and it has to come as far as you can get it up to come by your shoulder. You know what I'm saying? He calls that the Spider Man. And then you'll put the foot back and then go into a push-up to work your arms. And then he have another one where you're doing, you still in the plank. And you do the Spider-Man where you bring your foot up to your shoulder. And while your foot is still up by your shoulder, you go into a push-up. You know, so um, it's a lot of planking and you're on your knees, you know, and push-ups and stuff like that. And most of my planks... Because I'm still working on my core. Um, and I do the girly push-ups. I'm on my knees. So I'm still working. But I do my push-ups on my knees. I don't do the stretched out push-ups. You know, when I'm on my toes like this. Um, I ain't got that yet. Plus, I don't like doing push-ups. I think that's one of my most hated exercises is push-ups. I'd rather get some dumbbells and do my arm exercises before I do push-ups. I don't like push-ups. So, um, yeah, my knees were kind of hurting. And then in lower focus, um, also in total body circuit, you're doing a lot of squatting and lunges, especially in lower focus. Lower focus is nothing but lunges and squats, all different types of ways that you can do it. Um, and he also does a lot of squats in his total body circuit. So the front of my knees was my kneecaps was hurt in the back of my knee. My right knee was bothering me. So by the end of lower focus, I was just done. But um, I got through it. Um, the ab interval day was actually probably one of my best um, ab interval workouts, which was on Tuesday. And maybe because I didn't have to do it with another workout with all of the other ab interval workouts, it was on Friday, except for the first week. And we all know the first week, I was just starting back working out and it was like, whatever. Um, I almost turned the video off, but after that, the ab interval workouts was on Fridays. So, <laughs> and it was the second workout. So, um, except for week four, that was the first workout. But, Weeks two and three, it was the second workout and it was paired with lower focus and toe up total body circuit. So it was just like by the time I got to it, I'm just done. And he got all of these planks going on and up and down, up and down. You constantly jumping up, going back down, jumping up, going back down. It's just like, yeah. So, but I'm finished week five. So I'll be going into the, um, to the beta phase. Uh, I have not looked at these videos. Actually, I looked at the cardio core and it's basically the similar to the alpha cardio that's on here. 
but it seems like he kind of some of the cardio exercises that he put in towards the end in the middle of the cardio he's starting off with them so I didn't watch the full video but I'm pretty sure it's a doozy um my weight has gone down significantly so hopefully it will stay going down um my diet this week was not the best um I ate well but the thing is me not being lazy and actually eating like some of the days I only ate like um breakfast lunch and then dinner I didn't do my mid morning or mid afternoon meal um yesterday I think I ate I ate three times. I ate breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Today, I just ate. I ate breakfast, lunch, and dinner too, but I started late. And um, today and Friday, I didn't do an actual protein and oatmeal. Yes, yesterday, Friday, I just did some um, posts uh, with a honey bunches of oats or something like that. It has the fruit in it. And then I put some bananas, a half a banana. I cut up a half a banana and um, with some almond milk. I use almond milk. I don't use regular milk. That was basically my breakfast. I didn't feel like fixing no egg whites. And then today I slept in, woke up late. And about time I really got myself going, it was like 11 o'clock. And I just had a, um, excuse me one second. I'm sorry, my nose is so itchy. I don't know this allergies or what but um today I just I got up got going I measured myself weighed myself you know brushed my teeth washed my face went down so about the time I got downstairs about 11 30 and I just fixed a bowl of oatmeal and I put some blueberries strawberries and a half a banana in it in my bottle of water and that was my breakfast and then three hours later I had my lunch which was some Little Caesars pizza, two slices that I bought last night. And then tonight I had um, for dinner, and this is Saturday, I had some Panda Express. I got some brown rice, which I was proud of myself because I wanted to get the noodles. And then I got two of their um, healthier meals, that's supposed healthier dishes that's supposed to be 250 calories or less. And that was the Shanghai steak and the... Um, in the teriyaki chicken breast, which of course I didn't eat all of that, but that's what I got. And those were their two dishes. That's 250 calories or less or something like that. But, um, so that's what I had for dinner. And then I drunk my water and then I had a Snapple strawberry, um, kiwi. That's my favorite one. That's the only one I drink, but anywho, so hopefully, you know, we'll see what my weight is looking like you know, next week, hopefully I'll do better with my meals, but my weight last week was 179. I basically lost a little bit less than a pound, um, from the, from week three. So this week, my weight was 175.8. So I lost about three pounds between last week and this week. My chest stayed the same 35 inches. My waist went down about, um, it went down about an inch or so. It's it was thirty two and one fourth, and it's thirty one and a half this week. My arm stayed the same the same eleven and a half inches as actually it went down. They went down a little bit. Hopefully, I didn't lose much muscle tone, but you know my arms are still my shoulders. I could feel like you know my my you know my shoulders are real strong. You know them push ups and stuff. So. Um, yeah, but it went down a little bit, but it's not a big deal. And then my thighs, um, depending on where I don't measure myself at the widest part, you know, um, every measurement chart is different. I do have this measurement chart, measurement chart that, um, it doesn't show measuring at the widest part, but, um, I try to get around the same area that I have been getting for the last couple of weeks. So last week, my thighs was measuring at 21 and, and one fourth inches. This week is between 21 
and 21 and one fourth the same. So give or take, I didn't lose much off of my thighs. My hips was 42 inches last week and now it's 41 and a half. So I lost a half an inch off my hips. So those are my stats for this week. And hopefully we can keep going. I'm not too, too worried about the weight thing because I'm more focused on building muscle because um, muscle weighs more than fat. So I know the more muscle I build, you know, my weight may not change much. It may just go down a little bit, but you're, le you're building lean muscle, you know, and muscle weighs more than fat. So I'm not too, too much worried about my weight, but as long as I see my body transforming, then I'm good with that. that and that's what I want to see, more of my body transforming than um, the weight thing. So, um, yeah, but I do want to see some inches still come off my hips. If I could get my hips down to about 40 inches, you know, 39, 40 inches, I'm good. Yeah. Um, I can see my quads starting to come through, you know, show, especially, you know, when I'm standing or flexing or whatever um, I do. So I'm definitely building muscle in my legs and as y'all can see in my arms and in my shoulders. So, I, you know, and my whole take on T25 up until now, I haven't gotten to the beta phase. The beta phase, you do use the bands that they come with. Um, they come with workout bands. I believe they're like up to 15, equivalent to 15 pounds or something like that. But up until now, my whole take on this is, is that this is mostly to help you build up your um, strength and endurance and to help get you on the road to getting into shape. Um, I guess if you're like really, really overweight, you can lose a lot of weight in inches with this program. But I believe you would definitely, if you want to build mu muscle and, you know, really start to get that fat off, you would definitely need to do a program where you're adding in um, weights. Um, but this will definitely get you on the road to where you're going and help you start to lose the inches, lose the fat and tone up. But I don't think it will fully get you to where you want to be because this is more so like a cardio strength based type of program. You know what I'm saying? It's only but so much you can do with your own body weight, you know, before your body starts to be like, okay, you know, you need to add something else into it. So you would definitely, if you want to take it to another level, you would definitely need a program where you're lifting weights or just going to the gym and, you know, hitting those dumbbells or whatever. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do next. I was thinking about P90 through X3. That is more of a weightlifting program, but then you just got to buy so much crap to do it. So I'm not sure. We'll see. But this video is like going on 20 minutes. Um, that's it. I'm going to end this. This is my check-in for week five of week 25. I will be going into the next phase, which is the beta phase in week six starting Monday. Um, and I will check back in with y'all next Saturday to let y'all know how my first week, week six of the beta phase goes using the workout bands. So thanks for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Please leave subscribing. Please leave your comments in the box below. Give me a thumbs up. Peace.